It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Meisel and Friends, and it's a, I think it's a 750, it's a 750 milliliter bottle of Freaky Wheat. It's a barrel aged beer coming in at 13% ABV. Wow, wow, wow. I think I'm gonna need, let me grab my bigger bottle opener here. It's a oversized cap, I think, so I'm gonna need a, a larger bottle opener for it. Um, barrel aged aqua, aqua, fit fast, I think it says on the back. It's all in German, I'm not gonna be able to read it and understand it. So I wanna carefully, whenever I get a nice, let me show you again before I take it off. Whenever I get one of these nice stickers, I'd be very careful with them. Try not to damage it. Ah, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, I got it! And what I do, I'll show you, I don't mind. I've got a cupboard door here, I'm not sure if maybe it's going to go away from the camera. Can you see? Ah, yeah, there you go. Look, I've got a number of these. Uh, I've got an Orkney Brewery one there. I've got a the rest of Fuller's. The Fuller's, um, what do they do? Uh, oh, Something, what was that edition of the Fuller's beers? They, they, they numbered them, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> anyway, this is going to go here on the door. Freaky wheat, barrel aged, 2019 on the door. You know, years ago I never used to show stuff like that. It always used to be kind of like just be professional, just do the beer review and blah, 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 blah. But I think now I'm so much more laid back these days with my beer reviews. I kind of, anything goes. You guys probably want to see stuff like that anyway, don't you? Uh, this beer was sent to us by Meisel and Friends, but we will be doing an independent, 100% independent beer review for you today. Meisel and friends would want that, and you would want that, wouldn't you? There's no point in kind of messing about in life. We've got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Slightly hazy looking amber colored beer, good levels of carbonation. It's looking like a barley wine. Freaky wheat. So they barrel aged it. Let me try, before I get my nose into the beer, let's try and guess the style. They barrel aged this beer, that means that they, if they wanted to, they could have dry hopped it. So it could be a hoppy kind of barrel aged beer. Freaky wheat. Um, it could either, either be probably for me one of two things, either a barley, barley wine barrel aged barley wine or some kind of hybrid barrel aged hoppy 13% ale. It's held its head quite well. Let's get the aroma. I'm going to lean towards barley wine. Barrel aged barley wine. It smells terrific. Absolutely terrific. lovely kind of whiskey, bourbon kind of whiskey aromas. Smoked, smoked, some kind of smoked whiskey. I'm not, I'm not a whiskey drinker, so I'm going on about bourbons and whiskeys and smoke. I, I, I got no idea what I'm talking about. I just know that I'm smelling a whiskey and I'm, I'm smelling smokiness and wood and vanilla smells good let's dive in 
Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's one of those kind of like, it's a peated smoke whiskey. I don't know anything about peated smoke whiskies. It's just in the past, I've had these beers before that have been from peated smoke whiskey barrels and this tastes exactly the same. Ooh, it's a warm one. 13% ABV. This is, this is warm. I can feel the kind of warmth of the inside of the mouth. I can feel the warmth in my throat. I can feel the warmth sliding down into the pit of my stomach. Ooh, that's got a lovely kick to it. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. It's really whiskey like, whoa, wow really really kind of knock your socks off whiskey whiskey like peated smoke whiskey it's quite prominent it's quite i think i've had freaky wheat it rings a bell for me cool It's really leaning over. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. As I mentioned at the beginning of the review, um, I'm always honest. I'm always 100% kind of open with everybody, the brewer, the viewer, everybody. Um, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Um, the reason why I'm struggling is I don't like whiskey. I really don't like whiskey. Um, some of you may know the story um, when I was about... 16 17 years of age went to go over a nightclub uh, we didn't have much money so we purchased a litre bottle of whiskey between three people we all kind of filled up the glasses the shot glasses with whiskey downed it filled it downed it until a litre of whiskey was gone um, and bearing in mind back then I was drinking once a month I wasn't even my body wasn't accustomed to alcohol at all so um you know we drank it that fast we left the house sober to go walk into the nightclub which was about a 45 minute to an hour's walk away and by the time i got over to the nightclub i collapsed on the promenade on the seafront um i had to go home in a taxi i was covered in mud um, can't remember anything. I woke up with blood all over my face. Um, I think, was that the night or was that another night? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, long story short, whiskey for me just doesn't kind of, it doesn't work because I've not been able to smell whiskey since because I was in bed the night. I couldn't move. The next day I couldn't move all day. I was just like the worst hangover of my life. I thought my liver was going to fail at one stage. Um, dreadful. Yeah, and I just, ah, uh, ha, ha. I just struggle. Most people will love this. Most people would love this beer. Honestly, they really would. But I, I just can't get past. I can get a lot of malt, I can get the carbonation, and then it's all peated smoke and whiskey and alcohol and yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. A real shame. It's wasted on me. Um You may love it. If you love peated smoke whiskey and barrel aged peated smoke whiskey beers, you'd love this. But I've just told you the story as to why I don't. So I'm not even gonna, it's, there's not even a point in me rating this beer because it's a beer that it, 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 through my own kind of problems of years ago uh, has come back to bit me on the backside, bite me on the backside. So yeah, I'm just gonna say 
you'd love it. I don't. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.